In these problems, you have to write percents as fractions. And once you know one key fact, it should be pretty easy. Percent really means per 100. That cent is 100. So percent means over 100. So if you see 20%, that means 20 over 100. So you've got a fraction, although I wouldn't stop there because that's not um, reduced to simplest terms. I could divide the top and the bottom by 10 and I would get 2 over 10. I could divide the top and the bottom by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 1 fifth. Now it's reduced to its simplest form. That's 20% as a fraction. We start with the number over 100 and then reduce it if we need to. Next one says write 31% as a fraction. So I put 31 over 100. And in this case, I don't think there's any common factors here between 31 and 100. In fact, I think 31 is a prime number. So that one, we can just leave as it is. Our last one here says write 72% as a fraction. Well, that's 72 over 100. And then we can reduce this one. I know at least I can take a 2 out of each side. Let's see. A 2, that would be 36 on the top and 50 on the bottom. They're still both even, so I know I can take a 2. Let's see, that's going to be 18 and 25. And let's see, I think there's a 3 on, nope, that might be the end. There's no 3, 3, 6, 2, 9, yep, that's it. So 18 25ths is how to write 72% as a fraction.